Some of the communities severely affected are Karabud Creek, Little India, and Little Africa in Caribbean, as well as the race course and the Springlands. Like 27-year-old Kandia Wright of Little Africa, a mother of two, there is no income as her husband has been out of a job since ever since the estate was closed. Passing through some things right now, living in a renting house, and we got nobody here for me. So, right now, the rent is far, far two thousand right now. Man, I run air PC for money, and so we get him. He's not working right now. He's still working. Yes, his estate closed, and he's not working right now. Yes, since the estate closed, up and thing, please get a little tighter. So, right now, it's cash pressure. Me and family and survive. You know, say I put people on, and we get the church to pull for family to the family. And we get into a. Meanwhile, some persons have noted that with restaurants being closed as a result of COVID-19, they're out of a job. 49-year-old Hemuti Dunarain is the breadwinner for a family of seven. Her husband is unemployed and she makes $25,000 a month. Right now, none of my children them now work no way beside me alone. And my one son of the bio shop, I get in and out work, one day and two day work, and after that, he gone for them again. Till when they call, I'm again to get another two day work again. But me, regular, permanent, for this work of me, do with Tong Kong, the DNA Tong Kong, so $25,000 a month, and the money can't do for me. And my grand pick me and myself. Then I got the money all of them. It is stories like these that caused the Golden Glove Foundation to distribute 118 food hampers today to vulnerable persons who live at Little Africa, race courts, and springlands. Fias Mersley is the president of the foundation. We did it because we see the vulnerability in these um, communities that are affected severely by the COVID-19 and the lockdown. Businesses are stagnating, employees are not having the jobs um, and the payment ready. So we see to give out to these families that are affected by these um, circumstances. He said that the foundation visited the communities and interviewed persons before identifying those who will benefit. Just last week, we did uh, Crabble Creek and Morrison Creek. So we are going simultaneously throughout the coastline to all the vulnerable villages as we see fit or vulnerability there. What might be the worst case scenario? Because you said you would have had a little interview with these persons. Tell us about the worst case, a worst case scenario. There will a lot of people we um we went to is about the uh, um the unemployment um during, uh, uh, through the coastline and the jobs and the and the lockdown is severely affecting these individuals. For evening news, Andrew Carmichael.